Hello guys. Welcome to Geek Squad Coding Series. I am Vishali Anand and today's aim is to find pairs of integers with given sum in an array. So let's start writing our program but before that we will see what will be our input and output. Our input will be an array of integers. And the output will be pairs of integer whose sum will be equal to the given sum. Now, let us start defining our function. Our function name will be print pairs. So here we will pass three parameters the array, n, and sum that is the given sum. So for i in range 0 to n. Now what is n here? n is a number of elements in the array. And now again a follow for i no for j in range it will run from i plus 1 till n. Now we will check what we are going to check is if array of i plus array of j that is the element at ith index and jth index and their sum is equal to sum the given sum if it is so then print that pair so arr i comma arr of j Let's run it. So here our function ends and it is not giving any error. So it is the correct code. Now we will write our driver code. Here we will define the array. So let us take the array input from the user only. Or okay, we will define ourselves. So let the array be one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I am taking the simplest example. And now n equals, I told you n will be the length of array. And now sum will be equal to, what should we keep? Um, okay, let us keep as 9. And I am also inserting one more element here, 0. And now, let's run this also, no error. Now we are going to call our function. So our function name was print pairs. We are going to call it. We pass the parameter array n and sum. Let's run it. See, we got all the elements 0, 9, 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6 and 4, 5. These all pairs give us the sum as 9. So that's correct. Now let me include more elements like minus 1 and uh, minus 2, minus 3. Now running it, let's see how many pairs we get. Again, we are getting the same number of pairs. Now also our code is running correctly. If I change the sum variable to 6 here, suppose, then I will get more number of pairs with negative signs also like minus 3 and plus 9 that will give us 6, minus 2 plus 8 will give 6 and uh, if I write as 5, see, minus 3 plus 8, minus 2 plus 7. So we are getting the correct output every time that means our code is absolutely correct. You can refer the code again if you want. So that's all for today. Thank you.
and happy learning.